Carlos and today I will be presenting to you guys a little bit about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu martial art. Uh, first, uh, there is some things that I would like to present before I start the presentation, which is I will give you guys some background information, some history about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I will be showing some basic moves that it's kind of easy but take a lot of press practice to you to be good at. So the next the, to start my presentation, I will be, I have a before that I have a when I first stepped in the ring I was like 12 years old, which is a pretty young age to fight uh, to do a martial art like this. So I first got really scared, but two years uh, two years two years after I come back and I like it and I never stopped fighting. So I have many years of practice and I have a group. I already participate of some champion championships in Brazil, I won some and that's why I can teach you guys anything you, anything you, 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 you want you to know about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, and when, I think it's important to you guys to know a little bit about self-defense because there are many dangerous people in the world and if you see someone's fishing uh, across the street, idioms. <laughs> yeah. You, you, can, yeah. you can defend yourself, and you can you can defend the people that you like it that are around you. So and it, it also it is really good to your health. So it's it's a good thing to, to practice. So to start my presentation, I will talking about some rules, some uh, some gears that you have to use. Which is and the first rule of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is that you you cannot like give punches or kicks or things like that. The goal the goal in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is to immobilize your opponent, and you can do that like putting pressure in some points like the arm, the knees, the elbow or something like that. And as it's a martial martial art, so you have to be disciplined. All the time you have to be disciplined, you have to get in there in the right time, like you have to do in class every day. And you have to be respectful with your opponent, with your master, with your the, the, the place that you are in. And, and the, the, even if it's a kind of violent martial art, but the goal is never like to hurt anyone. You, 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 you don't want to do that, you just do that because you like it. Uh, and a little bit about some gears. Uh, we have a. Can you pass it like this? Yeah. Yes. We have a, this. We call this kimono. I, I didn't. I didn't find the word in English because it's kind of different. It's Japanese. So, and this is a different kind of kimono because it's really, really strong. Like you, you it's kind of impossible to to rip this thing off if you cannot do that. So, and you have a pen in this wrist. Who show your degree, what level do you are, and if you're good or not. So you always select by the, your degree, so that, that shows a lot. And one more. And the, the place that we fought, we fight, is a, a, it's a mat. A mat is kind of like a mattress, <laughs> but fit, that when you fall, you don't get hurt, never. And you can roll off and spin into a, a, whatever you like, and you, you, you're gonna be fine. So, and we have a little bit of celebration. And, uh, let, let, let me talk a little bit about our degrees. So, we have our band in our wrist and our waist. We have a band in our waist that you show our degree, as I already said. It. And every time you train a lot, like for many years, you get a new degree. We have six kinds of bands, which is white, blue, purple, brown, black, and the last one is red, but the red it's kind of impossible to get it because it takes like 40 years to get it. You have to be like the best, the best, the best. So most people just stop at the black, which is really hard. So I have a blue one, the second one. And when you even when you pass it, you you get, we have this tradition, we form like a corridor full of people, full of students, and the teacher gets in the end 
and you have to pass and everyone's left with the teacher. Bam. So <laughs> it hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It's best for the teacher. It the eye. <laughs> so like, like you can see, <laughs> the guys are kind of hurt. So wow. they pass. And in Jiu-Jitsu, you have a lot of respect for our, our companions and our teacher and in our place arena, as I already said. And we always, always, when you supposed to get in the army, supposed to get in the mat, you have to do this. And when you are gonna fight your opponent, you have to greet him. And after the fight, you have to hug him to greet him again because you are friends. You're not there to touch each other. And okay, okay, nice. And a little bit about the history of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, the origins start in Japan. Like all the merchant arts, I guess. And, but the origin, is, the real arts go way, way, way back, and people don't know a little bit. It's kind of unknown origin, but started from really a long time ago. But these guys over here, they were the first ones who brought Japan and Mark to Brazil Jiu Jitsu. It's not Brazilian Jiu Jitsu yet, to Brazil, and then. And then these two guys, these two guys over here, they are in the, this is this one and this is this one. So they are the responsible to be FKC. He's a, he has a red band on his wrist. His, his two guys are like the gods of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. They are the first one, they're the guys who create Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And now Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a really big. The name of these guys is Waste Family. They are a family. Then the. They are supposed to be lawyers and things like that, like that but they, they don't want to, they just want to fight and they create that. And this guy had 21, 21 sons or children and 13 of them become a back belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So then, then Brazilian Jiu Jitsu starts to spread over the world. And today, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, we have MMA, which is a really big championship, everybody knows. Everybody and, and to fight to fight MMA, everybody know has to know how to fight to the ground. So to fight in the ground, you have to know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and and it's a championship that moves like hundreds of millions of dollars. So two guys created, and right now it's spread all over the world. And yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna show some moves, three basic moves. Uh, I don't think you guys can do it because they take a lot of practices, so you can hurt it. Before doing this, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna ask my friend German to do it, <laughs> to be here. So, basically it's a ground kind of fight, so I'm gonna stay on the ground. <laughs> 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 so, this one I'm gonna show you, it's arm lock. Well, well, well the name that I already said it, arm lock. So, I have to take his arm. I'm gonna uh, put him on the floor and I'm gonna post both of my legs, one leg in the chest, another one in his neck, and I'm gonna put some pressure on his elbow. So we have to do this, you do this, and then you put some pressure. Yeah, like this. Nice. It's this, it's not easy to receive this. <laughs> okay. And the second one is my favorite because I, I already won a championship because we had the move. So this one's my favorite. I really love this, this move. Okay. So I have to put one leg is gonna be around his neck and the other leg is gonna do a, a lock in here. And his his arm is supposed to be in here. And he's he's gonna he's not going to be able to breathe. So that's it. That's kind of easy. Do this. Wow. Yeah. And now I'm nice. Uh, it's it's just uh, acting. Yeah. And the last one is the dangerous one because if you hurt if you break this bone. You have to do surgery, so you have to be careful when you do this. So it's kind of homoplata. So you have to do this, this, and this. 
this. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, well, that's my presentation. Thank you, everyone, for hearing. If you guys have any questions, please.